Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Leon from Buck and Slug Reloaders. Um, I'm in my garage, it's about 40 degrees outside, or in my garage, about 18 degrees outside, so it's pretty chilly. So anyway, you guys just bear with me, right? So today we're gonna to talk about how I powder coat my slugs and my bullets and everything else. So uh, we're gonna go over the things you need, uh, some things you need to be aware of, and um, yeah, so that's that. So uh, you guys just hang tight and we'll get this bad boy going. Booyah! All right, so to powder coat slugs, first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need a little toaster oven. I believe I bought this for like 15 bucks at like Walmart right so you're going to need that you're going to need a couple ziploc bags your powder coat today we're going to be using um this right here is translucent grape from eastwood it's one of my favorite powders beautiful color and this right here guys this right here is uh a reflective chrome so we're going to be using these two powders and the slugs that we're going to be powder coating is 20 gauge the 20 gauge uh paradox slug from savrog bullet mode company out of russia so uh there's there's uh there's two types there's two types we're doing today this type here as you can see it has the hole right there in the nose of the slug which allows you to uh, use a wood screw and screw it down to a wad we'll get into that probably in the next video or so and this one here same slug except it has a uh it's it's designed in the base of it to accept that special uh russian wad uh that goes to this particular slug kind of like that right there all right so that's the two slugs we're doing and of course you are going to need your brass tumbler so uh I'm going to show you guys how I set all this up. You guys just hang tight. All right. So, got two of these Ziploc bags, right? What you want to do is you want to double them up. Um, depending on how many bullets or slugs or buckshot or whatever it is that you're powder coating. Uh, you might want to use the gallon size. I usually do use the big size, but for today's... Uh, today's coating session here I'll be using these quart size bags right so we're just going to double up and what this uh, does is this this is going to add added protection for when the slugs go into the bag and then the bag go into your uh, your tumble over here so that being said we're going to drop the slugs right in here and once again, guys, as, as, as you can see, these don't look too shiny. Actually, they're pretty frosty, right? Um, I prefer to powder coat my slugs and bull bullets when they're a bit on the frosty side. For whatever reason, it allows the powder to actually adhere to the projectile a lot better. That's what I found. So uh, I tend to cast mine hot, so they come out a little uh frosty and uh and i'll show you guys here in a second so so people ask me all the time leon why do you powder coat your slugs well there's a couple reasons why i do that um for one it reduces leading in your barrel um less frick it's less less friction so you're going to get slightly increase in your feet per second and your velocity um, as far as accuracy wise, eh, I guess it all depends on the load. I have some loads that, um, are accurate, uh, without the powder coat. And I have some loads that are pretty accurate, um, with the power powder coat. So in that aspect at all, it, it just all depends on what your load is. Uh, but I do it for one, I can color coat my loads. So I know at a quick glance, what's what, uh, two less friction 
and clean the barrel. And three, eh, it just looks cool. So, all right, so that's that. So we're gonna go on and set up the second one. And here's the difference. So here's that one paradox slug. That's designed for that Russian tail wad, which I should have some here in the mail here soon. Just so you guys can see the difference. I'm pretty excited about this. So, so anywho, all right, back at it. Just gonna put, double up on these Ziploc bags, just like this. Now guys, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that the relative Humidity is as dry or as low as possible. Uh, the drier it is, uh, the better the powder will um, stick or adhere to your slugs. Um, do not do this after a rainstorm when there's a lot of like moisture in the air or don't do it on a day that's muggy uh, because it will not work. All right, so um, it just so happens it's like right now it's the perfect time it's cold outside it's extremely dry in my house seems like everything i'm touching um i'm shocking the hell out of myself so i figure hey it's be a perfect time to coat up some slugs right all right so i think we're going to do the slugs that require the uh tail wad i think we want to use this chrome so we're gonna do about, uh, I guess that is almost probably three quarters of a teaspoon full. If you guys can see that, not a teaspoon, I'm sorry, a tablespoon. You don't wanna overdo it, it's a lot. So it's better to go back and add more if you, know, if you need it than to take it out. You know, if you get too much um, of the powder, what ends up happening is your slugs will get all caked up and you'll just have a mess, mess on your hands. So, the translucent purple or electric grape or whatever the hell this thing's called, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'll go about the same. Eh, about that much right there. You guys see that? Just wanna sprinkle it in just like that. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna use the whole tablespoon. So, once you got it in there, just zip it up. All right, zip it up just like that. And we are going to put these in our tumbler. just like this and we're gonna turn it on. Now this process here takes anywhere from three to 10 minutes. It depends on how much, uh, you know, how dry it is outside and all that. So check on it every few, few minutes. And yeah, so check, check on it every few minutes to see if, uh, if the slugs are coating. If they're not coating, add more powder uh, or just let it go longer. So now I've got everything plugged in. We're gonna turn this on and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. Five minutes has gone by. Just pull the slugs out. Uh, Ziploc bags. You can use a pair of gloves, like some nitrate gloves or some latex gloves. Or you can use a pair of hemostats, which I got a pair of somewhere in here. Can't find them. So I had to use those little bit, bit nose pliers here. But anyway, so, uh, so got the slugs out. Um, 
on the the tray this tray goes into the to the toaster oven I cut out this uh, the silicone food gray type mat and that will keep the slugs from sticking to it uh, I got it set for 375 degrees for about 30 minutes uh, I'll see you guys back then we'll see how these uh yeah we'll see how these bad boys turn out okay so it's been about a half hour let's take a look and see how they turn out I pulled these guys out allowed them to cool that's the translucent grate and it turned out pretty daggone good here's the chrome let's see if we can get it to focus yeah it, it, it turned out very very well so guys I didn't have to pre-clean these bullets I see a lot of guys uh, they will clean their slugs or their bullets with acetone um, I don't have to do that I've done it before in the past and I really couldn't tell if it worked or not uh, also I see guys preheat their bullets I've tried it too before in the past and once again I couldn't tell the difference so I'm not saying not to do it just try everything see what works well for you but the most important thing though is make sure that when you powder coat these that the relative humidity is pretty low do not attempt to coat right after a rainstorm or on a hot and muggy day uh, it's just a waste of time so there's a translucent grape this is the chrome Eastwood powders here's some more examples of uh, that grape man I really like that color and it stays on there well too you guys can do the smash test if you want uh, this right here is an interesting color is uh, this particular powder is by prismatic I believe that's how you say it it's supposed to be like a metallic gold however it's a top coat so there's two types of powders out there there's a base coat and a top coat the top coat is designed to go over the existing uh, uh, coating so Make sure you keep that in mind when you order your powder. Stay away from the top coats unless you're trying to get all fancy. Uh, just keep it with the base coats. So that's supposed to be a metallic gold, but it kind of turned out brown. Now it still functions as far as not letting my barrel and all that jazz, but not the you know not the color that I want. So and here's that lime green very popular color really easy to work with from uh, from Eastwood powders so and over here here's some 44 mags uh, done in the translucent grape and instead of instead of the gloss oh I'm sorry instead of the chrome this is just the gloss so I'm not sure if you can tell you can probably barely tell maybe not one is just basically just a clear gloss and then this over here is chrome so so anyway guys that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions hit me up in the comments um, takeaways from this try to preheat your bullets see if it works it don't work for me but make sure you coat you powder coat on a day that the humidity is low that's probably the most important so basically just a quick rundown slugs go in a bag with the powder coat from the bag goes right there to the tumbler from the tumbler to the oven and then that's it so uh, yeah you guys have any comments questions uh, just hit me up and I'll holler at y'all later man you guys uh, you guys shoot shoot safe out there